Would you like to enter a $10 iTunes card giveaway? Well, all you have to do is leave a like and leave a comment on this video, and that's it. Enjoy the video. Hey, what is up guys? President Clash here. Welcome to another Clash Royale video. In today's Clash Royale video, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys this incredible all-defense replay, and combined with that, I actually have a new YouTube clan, Stream Clan, and basically Tournament Clan. In this clan, I'll be hosting tournaments, in this clan, I'll be uh, doing all my streams in, so you guys come join when I'm streaming, and this, also clan, this clan is also my YouTube clan. And basically, uh, this is a clan right here it's called Ash Catchem, uh, YouTube clan, President Clash. Make sure you subscribe and don't ask for co elder is free. I didn't make the description. One of the co-leaders did. Um, I was kind of lazy to do that. But um, yeah, let me just go ahead and do something real fast. What is the thing I needed to do? Oh, someone's battling live. That's cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and open up our golden chest real fast. And here it is: one seventy-nine gold, one up, eleven skeletons, fourteen that, and three rockets. And I think I forgot to show you guys the clan tag. There is the clan tag right there. At hashtag L9VOOHQ. And uh, that's basically it for now. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the replay that I wanted to show you guys today. So this replay was an all defense replay. And it was so awesome. Honestly, I could not believe this. So uh, it was very clutch. Like it was just at the last second I was able to, you know, destroy this dude. And look, look at this, guys. This guy's level 4 and I'm level 8. Obviously, you know, considering the fact that I'm using defenses, you know, maybe it'd be, you know, I, you know, I, I thought it'd be evenly matched. So, these, this is my deck right here, and we're going to see what he does. I am sitting a little bit just, you know, waiting. And we have one person who was watching and cheering for me, like, this whole battle. So, that was pretty awesome. Probably because I was the YouTuber and the other guy wasn't. But regardless, let's see what he does. He drops the cannon. Uh, he is kind of a noob for doing that, but I don't really care. I mean, everyone gets better. Just a quick tip, never drop your cannon like that. Only drop your cannon when, a troop, when the enemy troop is coming. Uh, we got some more people cheering. I dropped the mortar, and then I believe he's going to drop. What is he going to drop? Alright, uh, he has not dropped anything. I'm going to drop the bomb tower, and then I'm going to drop the elixir collector right there so I can get some more elixir. He drops that right there, and then holy crap, he has a freaking... What is it? A balloon. And obviously I have no air troops except for, um, the only thing that can counter this is my tower and inferno tower. So basically, you know, if that were to get any closer, I'd kind of be screwed. Then he fireballs my elixir collector. So basically he takes out every single one of my defenses I've had this whole game. And he's already damaged my tower, which is very disappointing. So we lost that elixir collector. I dropped that. I'm going to go ahead and drop an inferno tower. Or actually, no, a mortar. Come on, come on, come on. See, I was really disappointed at this point right here because all of a sudden he just dropped the cannon straight up. And now, uh, there's my expo defending, so what am I going to do next? I think I'm going to drop the mortar one last time. And then, then he drops uh, a, what, a musketeer, and then my mortar is shooting on that tower right there. So we're going to be taking the advantage, and I think he's going to drop the mini P.E.K.K.A. There you go, he drops the mini P.E.K.K.A. Alright, so now I'm going to drop the bomb tower on the left side. Not really going to do anything yet, but uh, yeah, that's what's going on. Now we're in two times elixir, and I dropped my second elixir collector. He drops um, the prince, so I just dropped the skeletons. And then I drop uh, the inferno tower to take out that prince ASAP and that giant. Because I did not want to deal with that giant right now. Plus, it almost took out my bomb tower, but my bomb tower was able to take out the other thing right there. He drops a uh, fireball. I'm going to drop a mortar right there. Then we have the witch right there. We have the witch and then everything. I drop my cannon right behind me. Drop some skeletons. And more skeletons to take out everything else right there. And it wasn't really successful. But my mortar just keeps on shooting on his power. And we were doing so well guys. This is going really really well. Now I have two inferno towers on the map. Now I only have one inferno tower on the map. And now at this point you know I need to you know drop down another electric collector. I need some more electric if I'm going to be able to survive. He luckily wasted his fireball on that mortar, and the mortar was able to take out the cannon anyway. And again, I have the worst placement ever and the worst timing. Uh, he basically drops that, 
And that's basically that right there. Wow, that was really disappointing, guys. And now he's coming in with that big push. And oh my god, no, 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 no. So that's what that's probably my reaction like that. Um So yeah, as you guys can see, he damaged my tower at least to a thousand health, which is incredibly weird and like crazy. But you know, we're going ahead and we're gonna go ahead and take out that witch. He actually dropped a balloon. And I was like, oh crap, no, 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 no. Balloon's gonna get one oh no, a balloon does not make it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop the cannon. The cannon is also going to be taken out. We're going to go ahead and drop a mortar, I believe, next. No, we drop a bomb tower. Now we have the biggest defensive push ever. He drops a fireball right there. And then I'm going to drop a mortar. And apparently I'm going to drop it in a position that it's not going to be able to hit the tower, I believe. Never mind, it's going to be able to hit the tower. However, my expo, there it is. It's going to be in the back descending. And my mortar is just hitting off on that tower very, very well. And we are able to basically defend really easily now. So at this point, uh, what are we going to do? We are just um, waiting for our next mortar and next full cycle because those are the only two troops we can actually use to attack. Alright, so we dropped the cannon and my mortar was accidentally dropped in a terrible position. So I was kind of unable to, you know, uh, take out a tower from right there. And now we're just going to speed this up because this is going to be the end of the raid right here. He dropped the balloon and I dropped now the expo and the expo is not really going to do much but that mortar is going to single handedly take it out as soon as I drop the second mortar. And there we go, that is one of the best defensive raids I've ever seen, it was very awesome, very incredible. And we did it against some level 4 guy who almost actually beat us, that was really crazy guys. Any guys Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and let's go ahead and say hi uh, to YouTube for the clan me. Anyways guys, uh, make sure you guys do join this clan. Uh, I really would like you guys like you guys to join. I'm going to go ahead and change it to invite only. You need at least 400 trophies, and that is the clan requirement. Hope to see many of you guys here in my current uh, Clash Royale clan. I plan on staying here for quite a while. I might leave once in a while, but I'll, leave, I'll let one of my uh, clanmates be leader for a little bit. So, thanks for watching. Thank you guys next time. Bye-bye.